Hey guys, we're gonna run it back and let's run it back. Okay, we're talking this whole Tupac situation and what is it? Is it anything to unpack here? Is it any new information? Is it anything? Unfortunately not. Like this is a whole situation, you know, people ask me a lot, like, do you know who killed Tupac? You know, you still get that question answered. Like I was just asked, I mean, you still get that question asked. I was asked that question just the other day, like who killed Tupac? You still hear that question. And to some people, they just, you know, and I used to be that person. Like I used to, especially like right after the murder happened that that first like decade. And it's, it's crazy to, to speak of it in terms of that amount of time that just went by. It was just one of those great murder mysteries that a lot of money was made off the Tupac and the Biggie murder mystery. Like it's just been a cash cow, like that whole hoopla around it. Even from the initial payoffs and the initial like hush money and all of that, you know, um, it was was just it, it was just a big thing but i used to be one of those people who were, who had all the scenarios you heard all the stories you heard suge got him knocked off suge had something to do with it no it was this person it was that person it was this it was that and you just hear the stories and you're like one of them people who like oh what happened but i'm i'm gonna tell you something that the you know the cali guys have been saying for a minute they like man we know who killed tupac and it's because of the gang culture like and that just goes to show you like if you're 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 in a particular city in a particular area and you're plugged into the gang culture there is going to be things that you know the 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 gang knows that everybody else does not know and this even goes to the to the technical teams the gang unit they know more than all the civilians knows because they ran intel on these guys so did they know who killed tupac yeah <laughs> did they have did man they had all the evidence like with the whole fbg situation they're like yeah these guys got in this car at approximately this time look we saw them on on on, on camera here and then there and then we intercepted this call and got this if they're running these type of like uh, uh, real time tabs on people like this type of surveillance, this type of sophistication. You don't think they can see a hit before it comes. You don't think that they know uh, who's after who and what's going on. Yeah, they know. So this whole situation, like the whole two part thing, them Cali guys used to say, man, we know, man, keep it. E. Man, keep it. E. got, you know, that was, a, you know, two part should have never been been involved in the whole Vegas stomping is what they uh, when they break it down. You know, that was gang culture. That was gang politics, you know, uh, 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 that's that's the guy who who yeah we was who who did such and such so who put his hands on such and such pop pop what you know now you know and the 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 story did come out of the bodyguard actually saying man pop could not have rolled around with them guys and not have been in got involved with them guys if she, he wasn't jumped in you know as I think he said uh. Uh, I don't, I don't want to misquote what he said, but he he basically said, you know, the set that um, Suge was running around with uh, I, Ma Piru, uh Pac was jumped in, so he was he was Ma Piru, like he was with them. That's what this guy said. Who was uh, I think he was an ex member of Death Row. Um, I, I, we we can pull that up but yeah this was the story or whatever but it was said that um pot wasn't supposed to be involved in this that or the third and that was the retaliation um after the fact but it was you know to be perfectly honest it was information out there that a bag a certain bag was supposed to have been dropped you know um on pop and it kind of like help facilitate the hey why don't we kill two birds with one stone but that bag never got there because of zip and all of this stuff yeah you you probably don't know who zip is but yeah it, it's a lot it's a lot to that whole story but the the thing is is the name keefy d is not new it's not new at all even a guy when he came out with murder rap like he even said the detective that was taking off the case um 
and you know every door was closed in his face he said when he knew exactly when he pointed them in the right direction he said it was a cover-up it was swept under the rug yada yada he mentioned keefy d way back then like keefy d is not a new name and when you see this stuff that comes out now you go to hula hulu you go to netflix you're gonna go to different areas you can go to all types of you know areas like the the Pac, uh, uh, memorabilia, the whole, the, the, the documentaries, the docu-series, they're, they're coming and they're out there. Like, you know, you can see the grab, you can see the money grab, but I get it. You know, that's what kind of culture and society we live in. And then Pac is a cash cow. Like he's been that way, uh, forever. Like he's been, you know, one of the go-tos when it comes to, oh, I know Tupac, you know, but, uh, unfortunately like the the indictment some people may see the indictment is is kind of bittersweet some may really appreciate the indictment you never know um it, it depends on your your from what lens you're looking through but um the the indictment coming down was something that a lot of people probably didn't expect but let's look into okay here we go this guy uh here's an interview Vlad um, with Keefy D. Considered one of the most influential artists of all time, was gunned down in Las Vegas in 1996. Well, on Friday, Dwayne Keefe D. Davis was indicted on one count of murder with a deadly weapon in relation to the killing. DJ Vlad, a major commentator in the hip hop industry for years, admitted that police in Las Vegas asked him to help their investigation after he interviewed Keefe D for his own show. And DJ Vlad and he joins me now. Tupac pulled out a gun. It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually see a gun? Oh, shit. Once you got the reaching, I got the ducking. So someone from your car That's started shooting at Tupac and Shook. So Orlando shot him across Dre? He leaned over on the window. He rolled down the window. Pop. They were drove on my side. I was popped them. You know what I'm saying? They, but they was on the other side. Right. Well, DJ Vlad joins me now. DJ Vlad, thank you very much indeed for joining the show. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, even in that interview, like Keefe was trying to pass the ball, and like you know, if they would have drove on my, I would have did it. Like even it was, uh, you know, they. You, you don't know who actually did what they all could have been shooting sometimes people take the like it, it was a whole bunch of with that but he's the one that got indicted let's see Keefe D Um, she just, just listen to the breakdown of what she says as far as the whole situation. Watch. And for a quarter of a century, police say they have known of Dwayne Keefe D. Davis's involvement in the murder of rap icon Tupac Shakur. However, they lacked evidence to charge him with anything. That was until this past Friday when he was arrested by Metro Police. And tonight we show you more of the events that led to the shooting and who exactly is Keefe D. Okay, it's just um, that statement. Police have known about his involvement, right? Let me ask you something. When have you guys ever seen the police like black evidence or have to have evidence, especially dealing with gang members, people with extensive records? Like they made up stuff on on people with way better records than gang members. Come on now, just 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 think about this, you know. And then look at the all the money, all the the payola, all the things that have transpired. Because remember, these are you're you're talking about entertainers. You're talking about um, moguls. Certain people being involved that can really push money and and, and keep funneling and bringing in that money so to to say that they lack evidence to charge him with anything come on man come on come on like come on 60 year old Dwayne Keefe D Davis is a longtime self-professed leader of the Southside Compton Crips according to a Nevada grand jury indictment Davis was big in the drug trade which elevated his status within the gang 
he rose to infamy as the only living witness to Tupac Shakur's killing in the suspect vehicle. Just a few days prior to the shooting near the Las Vegas Strip, the Southside Crips took a necklace chain from a Death Row Records label member at the Lakewood Mall in California. Rap label Death Row Records had ties to rival gang, the Mob Piru in Compton. That led to an incident with Davis's nephew, Orlando Anderson, in Las Vegas. Members of Death Row Records spotted Orlando Anderson near an L. Tupac Shakur during our special report, B.I.G.'s killing from Davis. Kading says Davis was facing 25 years in prison on a case they built against him. Instead, Davis confessed to giving his nephew, Orlando Anderson, the gun to shoot Tupac. But the confession was under a proffer agreement, meaning it could not be used against him. It's a legal tool that would be used in interviews, which allows somebody to... I spoke with TMZ about Metro Police arresting Keefe D in the Tupac murder investigation. Surprise, number one, because I didn't think um, Keefe D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. And whatever circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody going to prison on my worst enemy. And Knight, of course, was CEO of rap label Death Row Records. He says he will never reveal who opened fire on Tupac and himself and won't testify against Davis. Knight claims it was not Orlando Anderson. Well, for more on the Tupac murder investigation, check out our special report. Yeah, that's like a badge of honor to get rolled on and not snitch. Like, you know, everybody knows you saw your killer. You keep it in the streets. You know you're going to go after him. Like, that's a badge of honor. So for him to say, nah, it wasn't this guy in it to, to be that guy. No, that's no surprise or whatever. But the whole situation about the... um the uh they 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 went and tracked down sure he got him on a call and he's like you know i i ain't think he would ever be arrested but that's that's it about that not not really much to just oh it is just a lot of people knew for a long long time especially that coast that coast knew before anybody else knew that coast holds a lot of secret to a lot of murders especially dealing with hip-hop like uh for real um, but that's all we got on that. If you make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, do you believe it was Keefe D? Do you believe it was multiple people in the car? Do you believe, uh, just, just let me know what you think and make sure you subscribe and appreciate the growth. We out.